Shame, Shame that, that tune. Hi, Claire Mooney. Hi, thank you for sharing your shame with us tonight and disgracing your good name in a room filled with total strangers who are now judging you in a most harsh manner. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> now, Claire Mooney, Prague. That's in uh, uh, Europe, is it? Yeah. <laughs> why, why Prague? Why did you move there of all places in the world? Um, I had uh, American family actually living there as journalists, and they were like, come on, you can stay with us. And so I said, I'm oh, not sure. Journalism in Prague. <laughs> they did. I was doing photography. Mm. Yeah, it was great. And your boyfriend, given the choice of either moving to this Prague or <laughs> rocking out with a six string, <laughs> chose the latter. Did you yeah. ever wish you had bought a musical instrument instead? Like, did you ever think, you know, Claire Mooney, I could move to Prague, but then again, I could buy a saxophone and be like Clarence Clemens from the East Street Band. Did you, Claire Mooney, ever want to be like Clarence Clemens from the East Street Band? I mean, is that a real question? Who doesn't? Yes. No? Yes. Totally. Yes. I mean, yeah, I probably made a mistake. <laughs> I think it's a European tour. A love seemingly rekindled. Traipsing, traipsing, traipsing. Live rock and roll music providing the pulse wheat to this whirlwind romance. And yet, it was all in his words. Pretend you're still hurt by this, aren't you? Because I know I am. I know the life coach is, and Samantha Hagar is, and even Abraham is. Aren't you guys? Thanks. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> and the focus of your whiskey pill fuel drunken rage is not your boyfriend, but a perfectly innocent uh, statue. Uh, my, my question to you, Claire, uh, and this is difficult, I know, um, if that statue was right here in this room, <laughs> what would you say to that statue right now? I wish you could have just told me you were a statue. <laughs> You are speaking Czech and everything. <laughs> Stupid statue. Um, I scooch down these streets. A loaded six-string on my back. I play for keeps because I might not make it back. Such as the dispatch from one Jonathan Bon Jovi regarding life on the road. It isn't the glamorous love fest we all thought it was, especially in Europe. Anyway... How, how's the food in Prague? Uh, pretty good? Good pizza and stuff? I mean, yeah, good. they yeah. use ketchup instead of... Tomato sauce? sauce. Uh, it's awesome. That works, really? Yeah, it's really good, and when they want it to be a little sweet, they just put sugar all over it. <laughs> That's messed up, but it's good. Oh, it's amazing. Are you you're serious? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try that at home. That's good to know. Yeah. Prague it's really pizza. Good. Start my own Prague pizzeria. Uh, shifting gears. Uh, who, who is Claire Mooney? I've just met you officially and such fairly recently. Uh, you're, you're an acupuncturist, is I that know. right? Uh, how's, that, how's that going? Um, it's it's better than getting wasted in Prague. Yeah, I, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, it's good. Okay. I love it. Yeah. Great. Well, uh, hope you had fun today. And uh, let me say it's been a pleasure meeting you in recent months. You're a... Uh, you're a ray of sunshine uh, in the, how you say, miserable turd cloud that is social networking. Oh, so thank uh, thanks for the smiles, Claire. Thank you very much. Claire Mooney, everybody.